Tips, 1490 WGCH, WGCH WGCH.com anywhere, FM 105.5 WGCH. WGCH News Center time is 821. And coming up Wednesday, May 13th, an evening with the Gershwins at Ferguson Library in Stanford. Joining me, one of the performers, also the event director for the evening, Greenwich resident Rebecca Cooper. Good morning, Rebecca. Welcome. How Good you morning, doing? Tony. Thanks for having me. All right. Tell us what's going on on uh, 13th at the library. So this is the third installment of something that I created several years ago called the Golden Ticket Series, which pairs the history behind America's greatest composers and musical theater lyricists. This time we celebrate the very, very famous duo and brothers, George and Ira Gershwin. Okay. Who'd you have in the past? We had Lerner and Lowe, whose celebrated works included Gigi, Brigadoon, and My Fair Lady. And before that, an evening of Leonard Bernstein and Stephen Sondheim. Okay, so nobody big. Nobody of anybody ever heard of. Not at all. All right, great. And uh, so, so what's going to be going on this night? This evening's purpose is to really pair and put in perspective the history behind the composers. In this particular case, we have the Senior Vice President of Jujemson Theaters, Jack Viertel, who is an expert in the American Musical Theater and the American Songbook, providing commentary behind the relationship of George and Ira Gershwin, brothers who had a very complicated relationship, as most siblings would, but they were in the golden age of songwriting and produced everything from political satires to folk operas like Porgy and Bess. And so Jack will be commentating on the history and relationship behind George and Ira Gershwin, coupled with their songs sung by myself, three others, accompanied by a three-piece orchestra. And these songs include their very famous works like Summertime, Nice Work If You Can Get It, Someone to Watch Over Me. How do you prepare for this? Good question. I mean, you've been a Gershwin fan? Of course, this was a collaborative decision between the UJA JCC of Greenwich and myself, who are our great supporters and our executive producers. And this is a timeless duo that really spans across multi-generations and whose songs really have been weaved into the fabric of so many of our lives. And I'm hard-pressed to find anyone who doesn't know at least several of their songs. Mm-hmm. Well, let me let me ask you a question. You know, as time goes by, do do, do, you, do younger people know who the Gershwins were? That's a good question. They do. A lot of the times, candidly, they'll come to see myself or one of the other performers who are younger people sing and then realize, oh, wow, my mom used to sing this to me. I used to hear this in my grandma's house. Or in popular movies now, they've been performed or portrayed in some way and people start tapping their feet and Mm -hmm. start humming along. Mm-hmm. What 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 made their music so special? I think that George and Ira really understood the times in which they lived. Their greatest success was found in the 1920s and 30s during a very difficult time in the United States. And they really tried to weave passion with the understanding of what people were feeling in that moment. So even though most of their songs were not great hits, they were actually innovators in their thought process. They created Porgy and Bess, which was the first all-black musical, which was an incredible success. And it wasn't supposed to be for that time. And I think that their work and their lyrics really resonate from then and until today. Now, you mentioned the the complicated uh, uh, relationship uh, between the brothers. Uh, Will that be part of the show also, or are you you just going to get up there and sing their songs? (laughs) Yes, that's actually the nucleus of Jack's talk. We are weaving the songs in between the commentary about the relationship between George and Ira Gershwin. Ira died very young, and how George dealt with his death. Unlike the other two Golden Ticket series lectures, which were more about the composers and the musicals and how their relationship fit into the musicals. This is the opposite. This is how the songs fit into the relationship of the Gershwins. Oh, so the event is on uh, Wednesday, May 13th, 7 o'clock, Ferguson Library, 
and uh, it's a, a pretty good size venue, right? Yes, we have a 300 seat venue in the Ferguson Library and this has been a nearly sold out event for the last two years and we think that it will probably be just the same for this year given the famous nature of the Gershwins and their songs. All right. And you're a, you're, you're a singer by, by profession and also an attorney, right? I am. Okay. Do you ever do a closing argument in verse or anything like that? No. Of course, and in costume and, <laughs> you know, with sound. <laughs> and how, how can people get tickets? People can get tickets by going to the UJA JCC website, www.ujajcc.org. They could go onto the website under the Arts tab and scroll down. There's also sponsorship opportunities available. And I encourage everyone to sign up early because tickets are going to go fast and there's a significant discount at $36 a ticket as opposed to $50 at the door. Okay. And who else is going to be joining you? Joining me will be director Regina Elliott, musical director Zach Kemplar, accompanied by a three-piece orchestra, and my fellow singers Marissa Cortezzi, Brian Rosenblum, and Daniel Frankel. All right, sounds like a good time. And have you this is this something you do every year this golden ticket series then? Yes, it has become so popular that we have made it an annual event and I feel it's only going to get bigger. And who's who's next year? Have you decided yet? I'd like to keep that under my hat for now, I think, Tony. Okay, we'll have you back then when it, when it happens. I look forward to it. All right, thanks. Rebecca Cooper, she's going to be a part of the Evening with the Gershwins. Again, it's Wednesday, May 13, 7 o'clock, Ferguson Library in Stamford. Thanks very much, Rebecca. Thanks, Tony. WGCH News Center time is 828. Traffic and weather together next.